Trevin. Good afternoon. Um, you know, you, I'm, I'm curious your opinion on this idea that, like, you know, after this Westminster game, obviously this weekend you guys start um, conference play. So what has been kind of your assessment of how the team has been able to navigate the non-conference schedule, obviously after the Westminster game is over, and how that's maybe prepared you for what um, might be a really, really tough uh, conference schedule considering how, um, how dominant many of those teams in the conference have been this year? I mean, uh, personally, we've been playing a really tough schedule, and like we played our last eight out of the nine games away. So I think that's been helping us prepare for conference. And we played a lot of different teams. We played a lot of tournament teams that are actually helping us prepare a lot for these teams like San Francisco, St. Mary's, and Gonzaga. And you know, the WCC is a great conference. They're, uh, we got a lot of athletes, got a lot of shooters. So um, I feel like this non-conference schedule that the coaches were able to put together has really helped us prepare both you know, mentally and physically. And um, it's going to be a, a great route. It's just crazy it's already here. You know, We were just talking about with the coaches that you know, the non-conference schedule flew by. And now we got to really buckle down and focus after this Westminster game on, on conference and get ready for Portland. Sean, go ahead. Trevin, I got a, a serious question for you, but I got to ask one of the players, um, based off of your trip to Hawaii, Foose got a little bit of hardware, <laughs> all tournament team or, I think it was. Yes, sir. Um, can, I, can I ask you, how do you fit that, how do you fit a giant or <laughs> in an airplane overhead bin? Did he actually have to split it with Tijan like you said he was going to? <laughs> radio or? Uh, we, we wanted him to take on the plane, but uh, security wouldn't let us. So he ended up checking it. We got, like, some cardboard stuff, and we boxed it up. So we checked it, actually. But, you know, Foose is a great guy. He's super humble. Um, Coach Burgess gave him a bucket in practice today. So we, we try to humble him just a little bit. Um, but uh, Foose is a great guy. He's really showing why he's a dominant player um, on our team right now. A little bit sad that he had to check that door. <laughs> exactly. Right Exactly. He's gonna have to like top it like like a two big shampoo bottle. <laughs> exactly. He um, deserves it for sure. Yeah, for sure. Uh, serious question though. You guys are eleven and three. I I I think uh, the way I'm phrasing this is you've wrapped up the division one part of your non conference play. You've got obviously Westminster left, but but coming into conference play. If I had told you at the start of the year that you guys could be eleven and three, um, but that you would be playing a completely different style of offense than what you originally set out to do would you feel pretty good about kind of what you guys have accomplished so far um i feel really good about the things we've accomplished we definitely have hit some you know bumps in the road but nothing set us off from our end goal of you know going to the tournament and competing for uh, a championship both in the wcc and and nationally um but you know we're definitely excited we definitely have a lot to improve on and you know every every game is a you know huge stepping stone for us, and so we're just super excited, and um, we're just excited to get better each and every day. Alex and then Mitch, Trevin, um, speaking of the the WCC, I think earlier today they announced that um, a game between a couple of those of those teams was canceled um, because of some COVID stuff. Um, you know, and, and so far that's kind of been having a little bit around college basketball, but it's hit your conference now. And I'm just curious as a player, you know, how much are you guys, how much are you guys as players uh, concerned about something like that affecting your schedule? Well, given the fact that all last year our whole schedule was just crazy, you know, we would get on a plane, go into San Diego mid-flight and get a text saying that the game's canceled and we'd have to come back. And so I think all last year's prepared us for a crazy schedule this year. And, you know, we're prepared for anything. Like, we just want to go out and play and show the country why, you know, BYU is on top and why we deserve some recognition. Trevin, what makes – you've been with the program every step of the way with Pope uh, since his, his first year. What's made this program so good at avoiding back-to-back -back losses? Um, I think the thing that's helped us a ton is, you know, when like we lost to Creighton, it was a it was a game that we didn't play the way we wanted to play, and you know the only thing we talked about was, hey, we got to get better. That was the exact same thing that happened at Vander when we played Vanderbilt was, hey, we got to get better. And so we watched we watched a ton of film, we practiced harder each and every day, and um, 
it's just kind of our mindset. I think something clicked last year when we lost to USC and we had to play St. John's the very next day. And so it's just something like, hey, you got to let that thing go. You got to learn from it and then turn the page and look for ways to get better. And so something that we've been trying to get better at is limiting our turnovers. And I think that's going to help us a ton going into conference plays, not giving other teams extra possessions than us. And we're a great team, and you know we're going to continue to prove it. What changes maybe stylistically from non-conference play to West Coast conference play? Um, I think the pace, I feel like a lot of teams are – like in WCC, like to push the ball. Um, I feel like the pace is going to be a little bit more up tempo, and the physicality. Like you look at teams like Gonzaga, St. Mary's, and those guys. Like they're just hard nosed players, and they they pride themselves on their physicality. And so um, that's why I feel like this non conference schedule was huge for us to be able to play teams that are you know a lot more physical and um, to kind of prepare us for those guys. Um, but yeah, I think you know I really hats off for our coaches and. So just getting us ready for conference play. And, you know, we're excited. It's just crazy. It's already here. And how motivating is it uh, to try to get that, that first WCC title? The program's obviously going to go into the Big 12 in the future, but to get at least one WCC title before we move to that new league. It's definitely on, you know, the coach's mind, I feel like. And, you know, uh, we want to be a championship team. Um, that's why this this tournament in Hawaii was really big for us because you know it's 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 nice to win you know it's nice to win championships and that's what Coach Robinson was always talking to us about was it's nice to win championships and we just got to grow like we have so much more to prove so much more to grow into um, and so you know we definitely want to look at every game just by you know game by game not at the end of the goal but um, just game by game and you know if we focus on every team and. Um, not take any team lightly. That's going to help us go into, you know, the championship and, you know, WCC tourney play and, and come, you know, March. Thanks, Trevin. Awesome. Thanks, Trevin. You're good to go. Thank you, guys.